So in this uh, session, I cover uh, cooling methods of transformer. So first of all, why we need to use this cooling system in, in the transformer? So we need to know the basics of that uh, cooling system, why the cooling system is used. So generally in the transformer, copper losses uh, and iron losses will be take place. In this iron losses, uh, hysteresis losses and eddy current losses will be takes place. And uh, because of this uh, copper losses in the winding, in the winding, I square R losses are uh, produces because of this one heat will be produces. Heat will be produces and because of this eddy current losses in the transformer core, whenever the current process of the primary of the winding, it will be establishes the flux. This is phi, phi naught flux. And because of this finite flux, uh, whenever the flux cuts the core, stationary core, and EMF induces in this core, in this core EMF will be induces because of this EMF, some circulating currents, cir circulating currents flows through the core. And uh, as we know all that, when the current flows through a uh, anything uh, conducting material, definitely some I square R losses will be produces because of this one, uh, heat will be produces. Uh, so which means because of the copper losses and because of the iron losses, both with these losses, uh, uh, heat will be, heat will be produces, produces. And uh, this heat will be gradually increases and increases and increases. And uh, at a particular temperature, the winding, the winding may get short circuited, and the lamination is also may get short circuited. The, this is a exponentially rising temperature. Suddenly, exponentially, temperature will be rises, so that a huge damage uh, will be takes place uh, on the transformer. So that uh, to avoid such a problem, to avoid such a problem, so we need to use uh, different types of uh, cooling methods based on based on capacity of the transformer capacity capacity of the transformer which is uh, capacity is nothing but uh, kva or uh, mva kilo volt amps or mega volt amps and based on this uh, capacity the two types of uh, cooling methods are there one is dry dry type transformer cooling system this in this uh, two types of uh, cooling methods one is air natural I think, but naturally, natural air will reduces the temperature of the uh, transformer. And another one is air force. For the air force uh, cooling system, we need to use uh, separate uh, fans, separate fans to produce the na forcible natural air. And by using that forcible natural air, we need to reduce the temperature of the transformer. So this is a transformer and these are the radiators outside whatever the pipes are there or those are nothing but radius and we need to use this uh, force and fans and by using these fans uh, air will be circulated in the radiators and the oil will be circulated, oil flows in the radiators. Whatever the oil is available in the radiators will be cooled by using the forced air, forced air. So that's why the system is called air forced, air forced uh, cooling system. And uh, this is oil emitted, oil emitted nothing but uh, this is transformer tank. This is transformer tank. This is transformer tank. In this transformer tanks, we need to place the core. We need to place the core and, uh, and we need to place the winding, primary winding and secondary winding. So all this system, all this core and winding placed in the aisle. aisle. Such system is called aisle immersive type, aisle immersive type transformer. I think but uh, all these methods, uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, all five methods are based on aisle immersive type. Nothing but core and winding should be placed inside the aisle. Aisle must be placed in the tank tank of the transformer. And uh, like that, uh, based on this capacity also, these oil emits of type are classified as ONA, nothing but oil natural, air natural. 
oil natural air natural nothing but uh, if you take uh, this transformer uh, this is core inside this is transformer this is tank this is transformer core and winding and outside radiators will be available or radiators will be available and uh, whatever the heat oil available in this uh, transformer tank and this will circulate into the radiator pipes and uh, because of the natural air natural air the oil inside the radiator will be cooled cooled which is uh, let us assume this is uh, inside the temperature of the transformer tank is 40 degrees centigrade and uh, in the radiators uh, oil temperature is 35 degrees centigrade so that then uh, to balance the temperature levels and to balance the temperature level the inside the this cooled nothing but uh, low temperature oil will be sent to the transformer tank and high temperature oil will send it to the radiators like that this process naturally oil flows into the radiators and the radiators to the transformer tank and naturally this oil flows so that this is called oil natural and also in outside radiators natural air natural air will be touches so natural air will uh, uh, surrounding of the radiators natural natural air will be available so because of the natural air oil temperature will be decreases that's why this is called oil natural sorry air natural so oil natural air natural so this is a oil natural air natural type transformer and uh, oil natural air force so this is transformer tank inside core will be available core and winding will be available and this is outside radiators pipes are available radiator pipes are available and uh, this is naturally naturally oil flows so high temperature of oil flows into the radiators and low temperature of the oil flows into the transformer tank naturally that's why this is called oil natural oil flowing naturally and the air force would mean we need to use separate fans we need to use separate fans like this outside the transformer tank and those those fans these fans are connected to the radiators and that if if, that if you turn on the fan forcibly air flows uh, into the radiators and outside uh, pipes of the radiator so that uh, the oil oil temperature temperature reduces very fastly by using this forced air forced air nothing but by using the fans we need to send the air very fastly so that our temperature of the oil is uh, cooled very fastly so the, nothing but uh, uh, as capacity of the transformer nothing but as kva increases then uh, temperature production increases so that we need to use different uh, procedures different methods to uh, reduce the temperature of the air that's why these are the classifications and the next one is a uh, uh, oil force to air natural oil force to air natural nothing but uh, we need to send the oil forcibly from tank to radiators and automatically that the radiator oil will be returned to the tank that is nothing but forcibly we need to send the oil we can see that one in the figure we can uh, later we, i will explain the, with the diagram so that you can understand easily next one is uh, for high capacity for high capacity of the transformer natural air and water force is used nothing but uh, this is a transformer tank and these are the radiators outside uh, separate uh, connection will be there for the radiators these are the radiators and oil will be sent uh, oil will be sent to the radiators and are received from this bottom and uh, this is the oil will flows naturally this is nothing but natural oil natural nothing but uh, high temperature oil flows from the top portion of the radiators from the bottom portion of the radiators the cooled oil will be returned to the transformer tank and uh, this is the radiator the radiator outside the radiator we need to send the water forcibly we will send the water forcibly this is water water we need to send the water uh, surrounding of the radiators and then uh, 
after observing the temperature of the oil water will be written back written back nothing but forcefully we are sending the water to reduce the temperature of the oil that's why this is called oil natural water forced water forced in the same way if you use here a, a pump and if you forcefully send the uh, oil from radiator to tank and automatically from the top portion high temperature of oil will be written to the radiator something but if you use a forcible if you use a pump to uh, send the oil that is nothing but oil force and uh, automatically this is a water force is available so we need to send the water forcibly to the radiators and then uh, at the bottom side we need to uh, collect the water after observing the temperature of the oil that is nothing but a water force so that uh, these are the classification oil natural air natural nothing but automatic in by in, in the natural process this will be takes place nothing but oil natural air force nothing but we need to use a fan fan to produce extra air and uh, oil forced air forced both oil forced nothing but we need to use some uh, pump to send the water from radiator to uh, tank again tank uh, automatically after reaching certain level of the oil uh, that uh, extra oil will be returned to the radiators this is a air force by using the fans these are nothing but these three with the air and the natural air natural air only natural air will be involved in the first three in the next three forced water will be involved natural air natural sorry oil natural i think what naturally oil will be flows and water force we need to send the water or if by using radiators oil force nothing but we need to use a pump we need to use a pump and we need to send the water uh, sorry oil from radiators to tank so water force nothing but outside radiators we need to use the uh, water so these are the classification i will explain individually one by one so the first one is uh, air natural this is air natural is for uh, uh, dry type transformer dry type transformer used for low rating used for low rating of the transformer uh, for example uh, 230 230 by uh, 30 volts transformer like that low voltage transformer this is a 1.5 mea and this is self cooled method self cooled method and the next one is uh, air force air force nothing but we need to use uh, air force mean definitely we need to use the fans so nothing but as capacity increases temperature produces so that uh, it is used for 15 kv rating and uh, in this method heat is generated by cooling the air air circulation method air circulation method and uh, with the help of fans and blowers and velocity of the air we air is forced nothing but forcible air can be released by using the blowers and fans and that uh, uh, core and winding of the transformer uh, heat of the transformer is reduced so whatever the core and uh, winding producing the temperature will be reduced by using the forced air circulation and uh, next one this is oil natural oil natural and uh, air natural both are natural so look at this one here surrounding of the surrounding of the winding surrounding of the core temperature of the oil oil is more and so that here these are the radiators outside radiators radiators is nothing but outside pipes pipes will be available like this and the oil will be flows uh, through the pipes like this and uh, whenever the oil is cooled by natural air natural air then the temperature of the oil will be decreases here here more temperature here less temperature and here less temperature at the radiators here more temperature so by naturally this oil cooled oil will be returned from the bottom portion of the bottom portion of the radiators to the tank and uh, more temperature of the oil will be returned to the transformer radiators so the more temperature oil flows into the radiators cooled oil will be returned to the transformer tank like this in this way this process will be continuously takes place uh, throughout the uh, working condition so that uh, 
temperature of the uh, core and waning will be observed by uh, observed and reduced by natural process that's why this is called oil natural air natural both are naturally circulating and uh, this is used up to 30 mba and the 30 mba in the uh, substations as a power transfer power transformer and the next one is uh, so this is a practical view of the uh, natural air na oil natural and uh, air natural practical view these are the radiators you can see these are the radiators this is the top of pipe which is connected to the radiators oil will be hot oil will be sent to the radiators from the top pipe so the bottom pipe you can see here bottom bottom uh, a big pipe is available here and whatever the cooled oil will be written bottom and it will send it to the this is a tank it is it will send it to the transformer tank this is the practical view of the uh, transformer and the next one if you take uh, this is a na air natural sorry oil natural air forced air forced mean we need to use some fans separate fans so look at this one here fans are available so fans are available here one two three four fans are available and uh, the pre the difference between the previous one and the present one is the previous one there are no fans are available here the fans are av available that is the only difference between the natural uh, oil natural and air natural and oil natural and air forced the previous one and the present one the difference is here the fans are used nothing but by using the fans we need to we can provide a huge uh, natural air with force so that uh, high temperature oil temperature reduces decreases very fastly very fastly so that is nothing but a uh, oil natural and air forced so this is a practical view uh, this is used for high capacity high capacity simply a primary a secondary secondary uh, transmission side secondary transmission nothing but 132 by uh, 33 kv 132 by 33 kv transformer in the primary say, secondary transmission side we should use this uh, this type of uh, a cooling system so you can see here this is radiator radiator and here fans are available 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 fans are available and these eight fans uh, will not turn on at a time will not turn on turn on at a time so these will be turn on based on the temperature level for example uh, this uh, this is 30 this is 40 this is 60 and this is 70 nothing but as temperature reaches 30 degrees uh, sorry uh, 35 let us take 35 as temperature reaches to the uh, 35 degrees one and second fans will be turned on and if the temperature reaches to the 40 degrees two and three turned on at 40 degrees if the temperature is 50 degrees five and six i think but 1 2 3 4 5 6 all 1 2 3 4 5 6 at 50 degrees centigrade and at 60 or uh, 70 degrees all fan will be turned on i think but as temperature increases more more cooling system is required i think but more fans are required to reduce the temperature of the oil very fastly so this is uh, generally these uh, fans will turn on during all fan will be turned on during summer summer at noon at noon it will be turned on during the rainy season uh, temperature of the surrounding is very less so that uh, automatically natural temperature will be uh, observed uh, it reduces the temperature of the oil next uh, next one is uh, this is uh, oil forced air forced oil forced air forced nothing but uh, so look at this one uh, at the bottom you can see here fans and previously we saw the fans similarly the fans will be available uh, you can see here fan is available like that uh, I, i in this diagram i shown only one fan only like that many fans will be available and uh, look at this one here pump is available this pump will send the cooled cooled oil from radiators to the transformer tank and whatever the oil which is absorbed the temperature of the core and winding will be will be returned to the 
this uh, heat exchanger nothing but the radiators uh, from the top portion as we know all the, the density density of the density of hot i hot i less compared to the uh, cool i that's why if the density of the hot i is less so that it will be reaches to the top uh, the top of the transformer tank so that uh, hot i available here if the density of the transformer if the density of the oil is less nothing but that is just called a cool oil so at the bottom cool oil available of the radiators so that we need to send this uh, cool oil forcefully by using the pumps into the transformer tank automatically hot oil will be uh, reaches to the radiators and here uh, we are using a forced forced air and also we are pumping the uh, oil in a forced manner so in this way we can reduce uh, we can uh, reduce the temperature of the core and uh, binding very fastly very fastly so this uh, capacity of the uh, transformer is is uh, 60 mba 60 megavolt amps so high capacity for high capacity this is used and then the next one is uh, so this is oil natural you can see the previous one so this is oil natural and water forced this can be understood with the next diagram so this is a uh, first of all let us discuss oil forced air water forced so if you understand this one you can understand you can easily understand the uh, oil natural i natural water force water force that is previous one actually this is i natural water force previous one i force water force is present one you can see here so this is i force to water force i force nothing but we need by using the pump we need to send the i cool i uh, into the transformer tank which is available in the this is radiator sorry heat exchanger automatically hot i will be Return to the uh, this is heat exchanger or uh, trans uh, radiator whatever it may be and uh, outside radiators outside radiators outside radiators actually uh, the oil water cannot mix uh, cannot mix each other the outside uh, radiators outside this is radiator outside radiator water flows water will be uh, sent to radiators with the uh, forced manner with force by using pump we need to send the water and uh, this water will circulate the radiator gaps in the radiator gaps in the radiators whatever the hot uh, oil is available hot oil temperature will be absorbed by the water and it will reaches to the bottom and uh, uh, water will be and send outside hot water will be sent outside automatically again natural water will be sent to the radiators and uh, the temperature of the oil will be absorbed very fastly very fastly and uh, in this way this uh, oil forced water forced transformer will work and uh, in this in, instead of oil forced if you use oil natural oil natural nothing but we never we should not use this fan that is the only difference between oil oil natural water forced oil forced and water forced these are the different types of cooling methods uh, which are used in the transformer based on capacity as capacity increases as capacity of the transformer increases we should use a more sensitive methods nothing but complex system we should design uh, to reduce the temperature so for the low capacity we should use a oil natural and uh, oil forced and uh, air natural air natural and air forced but the high capacity for huge capacity we should use oil natural and water force water force do instead of air force we should use water force if you use water force temperature can be absorbed very fastly so this is all about the uh, cooling methods cooling techniques of the uh, transformer